Well, the Victorian government's links to Beijing are being questioned by the federal government amid Australia's trade tensions with China. Let's bring in Gabriella Power, live for us from Melbourne. Gabriella, we've seen Peter Dutton raising concerns over the state's involvement today in China's Belt and Road Initiative. Ash, the Belt and Road Initiative essentially fast-tracks China's involvement in Victoria's infrastructure projects such as highways and railway projects and they're worth billions of dollars. The agreement is entering its final stages and key details need to be signed by the middle of the year. The federal government has previously said that this deal is not in Australia's interest and Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton says the deal is a huge concern. Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative is uh, a propaganda exercise from China. This is gravely concerning and uh, Victoria needs to explain why it's really the only state in the country that has entered into this relationship. Uh, it's good, good for uh, us to have investment from all over the world, including from China, uh, but it needs to be done in the appropriate way with the proper safeguards. This week, Victoria's Treasurer Tim Pallas criticised the Morrison government over its push for an international inquiry into the origins of coronavirus. The Andrews government has also been dodging questions about whether the state government's coronavirus rescue package would be coming from China. This is what the Deputy Labor leader had to say. Transparency is a good idea um, and, and it's always best to be as transparent as, as one can be in terms of um, the way in which government occurs, and, and we very much um, support that principle. But I'll, I'll ultimately leave the answers to those questions to the state of Victoria. Since coming into office in November 2014, Premier Daniel Andrews has visited China six times. His last visit was in October last year, and that's when he signed the framework agreement for this deal.